Sunday haul video, which I have not done forever. So, I thought I'd come on before Christmas. I hope some people will join me. I hope people have not forgotten me. <laughs> because I don't make much effort, and I should, but I don't. So, there's that. <laughs> anyway, I have quite a few things, actually, um, to show. So, I hope, hope you all come and enjoy. And, and um, yeah, I'm just so out of practice. <laughs> I do not know how to talk anymore. So, lately I've got, uh, like the title says, Kate, hi, I'm glad you made it live. Welcome, you're the first one. So, like the title said, I have some Les Bernard, which is always a good one to get. And I have a little bit of new Monet, a little bit of new Napier, and, um, so let me show you. Hi, I'm Kate. I'm semi-new. I have a huge Monet Napier listener, listener Trafari collection already. Oh, you're my kind of girl. Um, like, I have, okay, I have eight, I think it's eight boxes, jewelry boxes of Monet. You got that many? <laughs> I, I just... In a way, I kind of wish I wouldn't have gone that crazy with it, but it's all quality. It's all wonderful stuff. I wear it. Oh, yeah. You saw a lot of the mode name. Monet's your favorite. Do you have any of the pieces that I have, Kate? I I think you should do a video on your collections. You have eight. You do? Then you're good. You're good. We're right there with each other. So... Um, yes, do a video on your collections. That would be wonderful. So anyway, oh, <laughs> well, it's just me and you here, so I might just be, be showing you my stuff. <laughs> anyway, this is the really cool Les Bernard. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of Les Bernard or not, but I was fortunate enough to win this in an auction, and I just love it. It's chunky. I haven't really figured out what these are yet. Um, they're light. They're not glass. Maybe they're ceramic. I don't know. They're kind of swirly. Um, they're very pretty. So, here is the hang tag. Needs cleaned up a little bit. Looks like it has a little bit of verdigris on it. You're bidding on one now. Oh, don't get outbid. If you have to leave, I understand. Um, it says Les Bernard on there, but like I said, needs needs cleaned up. So there's that. Here's my newest uh, Napier. I think this is the Napier. Oh no, this is Anne Klein. Sorry. You have plenty of time. Oh, <laughs> good. I won't. I'll try not to ignore people, and I'll try to catch people as they come into the chat, which I try to do. But um, yeah, this is an Anne Klein, and I really like it. Um, it's just simple chains, just like really flowy chains. And um, I bought it. Of course, I bought it to flip. But then when I saw how much I liked it, I don't know. Might keep it a while. <laughs> and this is really cool. Now I have to do some research on this. Um, because when I bought this, um, there was the seller actually had like a a page explaining this um, technique on here. It's by Pierre. Yeah, that's what I do too. Um, it's by Pierre, and it says 14, uh, 
I think it's plated PL or something like that, and then it has 925. So this is a, a real flower, and you can really tell that it's a real flower um, because just the detail on it, I think it's beautiful too. The gold is really well done. It's really a well-made piece. It's not a brooch though. It's a clip. So I guess you can, you know, clip it on your coat maybe, or I don't know, you probably wear it in your hair. You could probably wear it in your hair just like that. It's cute. A dress clip. Yeah, I although the dress clips are the ones I've seen don't have this kind of clip on them. But you could certainly, you know call it a dress clip or wear it as a dress clip. Here are, here's a, an auction win that I got. It's really nice. It's not signed, but yeah, it looks like a hair clip. It's not signed, but um, I think it's really well made. It actually has a, a hang tag with, it's a circle, a little circle medallion like with a little rhinestone in the center of it. And I've gotten jewelry like marked like that before, but I don't know who the maker is. So that's what this is. And it's matching. I'm having a hard time with the earring there. There we go. I think that's really cool though. Um, these are... I think they're loose sight. Oh, hi, Kathleen. Glad you came. Yeah, it's really cool. And it's, uh, it can be pretty long. And, and it has the pierced earrings to match. And there's the little hang tag. I don't know if anybody, if anybody knows this one, let me know. Because, like I said, I've got a few of these now with that, with that hang tag. And it's, uh, these are, this is really well made, and the ones that I tend to get with this little hang tag like this are well made. So, I like that brand, whatever it is. Um, here's my newest Napier, which is so sweet. It is so cute. It is um, Lily of the Valley in there, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Let's see if I can get something white behind it, so maybe you can see it better. See the little Lily of the Valley in there? So cute. Yeah, it's so dainty. Hi, Island Girl Resells. How you doing? Yeah, I like it a lot. It's really, um, the style of it is, is like Victorian, I guess. And it's so, just the way it's made, the way, you know, it doesn't have the conventional bail at the top, but it has the two at the sides. Um, I think that is just, you know, that's for my Napier collection. It's, it's adorable. Pretty sure that's Lily of the Valley. Looks like it. I think it is. And you know I like my coin jewelry, so I had to get a lot that had this very pretty actual real coin in it. Um, it's another thing I got to sell that I might keep because it's a silver coin. Kathleen, you know about coins. It's very in right now. It seems to be like um, in a lot. I mean... It seems like it's classic and doesn't go out of style, but I do know that, you know, coin jewelry is always a good thing to pick up. So Kathleen, this, this one says, um, two grams of fine silver, 999, silver issue. Um, maybe it's not a real coin, I don't know, but endless sky. How are you doing, Linda? I think it's Linda. Yeah, I know. I guess that's not real, is it? Because Kathleen knows about coins. I mean, it's not a real coin, or is it a collectible coin that somebody would buy? 
Yay! You're not alone anymore. I'm glad. I'm glad you're not alone anymore. And here's just the nice... Oh, good. Good. I'm glad you're doing good. It's good to see you, Linda. Here's just a nice rope chain. Very nice quality. I had to get all this, the rest of this stuff to get that one coin jewelry, but I, the necklaces, the, um, they're very nice quality, the ones that I got, so I like that kind of a clasp. You have a Napier rope like that. Oh, yeah, I think I probably do, too. They're, they're kind of prevalent, but this is nice. This is, this would be good for right now. And the, the, um, necklace realm. Here's another, just a, just another rope necklace, diamond cut. This one has a arrowhead on it. It's diamond cut. And then there's some charms that she gave, that were in this lot too. There's this one. Personal style is very plain. I love rope necklaces. I do too. I, uh, I don't usually wear rhinestones, but I do like this sweater that I got for Christmas. I mean, to wear for Christmas with the rhinestone buttons on it. I think it's so cool. And then I just put this small pin here so I didn't overdo the whole, the whole rhinestone look. <laughs> but I wore that to church this morning. And there's a little elephant. And... Here's, an, uh, here's another necklace. The absolute fave is Danny Monet choker that's reticulated pendant. Oh, darn it. Missed all that. I can read this stuff later. <laughs> this is adorable, too. This is nice. Nicely made. I'm not I'm not a heart, heart person, but I like when ones, I can appreciate when ones are well made. And hi, Iris. Iris likes my taste in jewelry. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, here's another lucky uh, horseshoe charm. And here are a couple just plain, which I like, uh, silver tone cross earrings dangles that are like antique silver and those are nice. I love these types of um, fasteners too that go back there and then hook. They're so nice. So that's that for that lot that I got with the coin necklace which I love the coin necklace. There's the back of it, by the way. It's definitely gold-plated. Put these back in my, in where I got them for now. Try to keep things organized as I go. And what's next? What is next? This is a really pretty Sarah Coventry pin. I don't have that one, and I just think that is gorgeous. And the detail on the flower, the gold part, look at it. It's it's like it's like checks and plaid and all kinds of stuff going on in there. You see that? Isn't that neat? It's all about the texture, I'm telling you. With me, I just love to see the the texture and things and that is really pretty I mean that's got to be one of my favorite Sarah Coventry's and I have to look and see if it's in my book that I have I don't know if it is or not I don't remember and I got a Trafari Kate with the tag on it the crown Trafari pin I love that it has the foil tag on it still, and it is like, it kind of looks like a Q, Q 
course, it's not a cue, but it kind of looks like one. I guess it could be one. Marked on the back. Jafari, look how nicely it's, it's constructed. Just quality, quality, quality jewelry. These are some pretty Coro clip-ons. I'm expecting a really big box. Well, I think it's, I think it's eight pounds, um, a medium flat rate box of jewelry. In fact, two of them I'm expecting, and and they were supposed to have been here by now, but they are they have not shown up yet. So I'm a little worried about that, but I guess I just have to be patient and wait because I know that the uh, post office is all uh, backed up right now. And I'm sure that's what the case is, so I just have to hope that they come sooner or later. Sooner would be nice. Have you ever heard of Gale? G-A-L-E. These are marked in block letters, G-A-L-E, which is a new one on me. I have to look that up. But they're really pretty. You can't beat green stones and baguettes. And that the the baguettes and the and the other stones appear to be almost like a um, like a light peridot or something, or they're they're really pale light green. And then we got the dark green. Those are stunning, aren't they? Wow. I'm pretty sure they're green. Well, maybe they're not. Maybe they're clear. Maybe they just look. I guess they just look green. For some reason but they're clear just beautiful it's beautiful let me see if I can get this straightened out I know there's auctions on today so I'm just trying to hurry oh I'm sorry I missed that question Iris Iris, I don't know what you ask. They are. They are really, they're really nice for Christmas, aren't they? Now this one, it lays right. When you can get it to lay right, it's absolutely stunning. But you have to do a little bit of twisting to get everything laid right. So I'm working on it. Hang on a second. There we go. Isn't that pretty? It's like a pretzel. Oh, Mary Luce. Aww. I miss you. I haven't seen you for a while. I'm so glad to see you. Hola, hola mi amiga. Como esta? So this is, this is really neat. But like I said, you have to twist it around or it, it just tends to not want to lay right, but man, when you once you get it laid right, that thing is gorgeous. Sally, hi, how are you? But I do love that a lot. Sally, I already showed that Sarah, but do you have this one? Man, this is a really nice Sarah Coventry pin. Do you have that one? Then you have to do your video. You need to do that Sarah Coventry video you've been promising. This is probably one of my favorite Sarah Coventry pins. Isn't that pretty? Look at the look at the texture on the leaves and stuff. It's like it's like digital dots or something. It's so cool. And then there's this one. I have two of these now, so I will sell one of these. I'll have to look in my book too, see if it's in there. Um, this one's really pretty too. I just think the white and the silver are really nice. I think that one's in the book, I'm not sure. Uh, this is another one of these. Um, ones that has the little hang tag with the rhinestone in the middle and if you know what that is let me know 
that this chain is really nice. It's a long chain and that the end is this. So I think that's kind of cool. It's a really long chain, but you can adjust it. Oh, did you? Hey, Teresa. Kathleen just sold one. Okay, well I have one to sell now too. Oh, I don't know why my Happy Holidays has that symbol. <laughs> and this I think might be Avon because it has, it's really pretty, it's faux marcasite with that swirly type enamel and it has that dot on the back with the circle and the just that circle dot thing which is Avon I'm pretty sure that's on all Avon jewelry that circle dot thing uh, yep happy holidays to everybody this is really pretty this is not signed but it's a pin pendant and it's it's really pretty too it's got a lot of texture okay I thought so too this is prettier than the than I can show you here um because of the lighting I guess but the, the leaves are textured see the lines in the leaves and then we have all the pretty stones that are all there and it's got the bale and silver on the back so it's really nice See, that would be too much with all my runstone buttons <laughs> but that's pretty that would be nice like on a plain black sweater or something yeah it is kind of atomic I don't know if somebody made this like as a vintage charm bracelet project or if it actually came like this I'm tending to think somebody made it but wow, it's a chunk of the neck, it chunk of a bracelet. It's got all kinds of things going on. It's on a bronze tone chain. It has cloisonne. It has lucite. It has an elephant. Flowers. Like molded glass or molded lucite, I guess. And Mitra and Cindy. Uh, happy Sunday. It's got that fish on it. Oh, the Monet Jewelers is probably 1930s, um, Teresa. You love elephants, Kate? I love the fish. I think the fish is super neat. But the elephant... The elephant looks kind of... No, I guess he's not really. I thought there was like glue on him, but he's he's just that color. He's just kind of yellowish. But um, but it's pretty neat, and it's really a it's really a chunk of a bracelet. So I don't know. I'm gonna try to sell that. And another reason that I bought this lot was. For, I always have to have some scarab jewelry in my shop. I, I really like scarab jewelry and I like having it in my shop. So this one is really nice. Um, even though the stones are, I think they're just lucite. I love the, the double links, the bar links, the double um, chain. And I think it's a nice one. Yeah, I like it. I like it, Sally. Even though it's not real stones, I love the way it's made, and that makes up for, you know, a lot. When something's designed really nice, that, that can make up for a lot of other things that's lacking, you know. And just these are really pretty. These are really springy. I'm, I'm usually not a fan of these kind of earrings. I, I have a million of them just in a box, these beaded kind. When I first started reselling, this is the kind of thing I wanted. But now I, I don't. <laughs> but these 
happen to be very pretty. These happen to be the colors of them. They just remind me of Easter. Um, and they're nicely made on the back. So, I love the necklace from you. I wear it in the fall with the deer and the scarab. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I'm glad you like that. And these are um, Marvella, which is a good brand of costume um, rings, or rings, pearls. I was thinking about ring because I got a, I got a really nice pearl ring lately. But these are earrings. These are pearl earrings, and they are Marvella. Got this cute unmarked unsigned cat pin that's really cute. Oh, it's a cat and a mouse. And he has a green eye, as the cat does, and the little mouse he has a red eye. And it's nicely made too, but it's not signed. These are cute. They're just modernist type. Um, they're not terribly old, but um, I like the way they're made with the different materials on them. The um, plastic, probably. And they're real lightweight too, but you know they're they're pretty cool for what they are. I like the design of them, and I like the you know it has a mixed a mixed uh, media. Or whatever mixed materials this is cute it's just a little pendant but it's missing a stone it's missing a stone right here so what I think I'll do with that is harvest the rhinestones see if I need any of those colors which is a lot of different colors in it and um, I've been looking for a particular you know, color rhinestones, and I haven't been able to find them, so maybe it's in here. I don't remember what I need it for, but I know that there's one thing I could really sell well if I could just replace the stone. I think this is Avon too. I had to I had to buy this with that um, Napier necklace that I got. It came with it, so I had to get it. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have gotten that. Um, but I think that's I'm pretty sure that's Avon. I love these. These were part of that big box lot that I got, but I still have a few things to show you on that. Um, clear Lucite with this design in hoops, pierced hoops. They're pretty cool. I like stuff like that. I probably wouldn't wear them, but I think they're pretty cool. I love Lucite stuff. Yeah, hi, Vicki. I love Lucite, too. How are you doing, Vicki? Haven't seen you for a while. Yeah, I like them, too. Okay, here's my latest Monet. Um, it's a flexible... Thanks. They're, they're leftovers, Sally. <laughs> and this one kept falling off, so I had to put some glue on it. I don't like using the glue, really. But anyway, it's a flexible, really nice, flexible, uh, smooth chain like bangle, and it's signed Monet in there, and it, you know, it goes on really nice, feels really good. It's not doesn't catch on anything, and it's really pretty. I should have wore that today. And my sleeves come down kind of far, so I didn't wear any bracelets today. That's. That's a really nice one. Really nice. So that'll be from my Silverton Monet collection. Now this is one of the things that were in that big box lot that's pretty cool. It's earrings and it's this swaggy type pin. Little... Oh, thanks. Sally, Sally does have cool nails too. Yeah. Um... 
yeah, I don't know, beachy kind of a theme with this chain in between, right? And then you got the two, I don't know what they are. I did get you hooked on this. You were, I wore them one time and Sally was like, hey, what, what's up with that? And I said, man, you just press them on. They're so cool. They're so easy. And uh, I think a lot of people wear them now. A lot of, uh, a lot of people who do videos, I think, probably wear them. What do you think of this stuff? Definitely 50s. And they have the little screw-on earrings to go with it. The little screw-on earrings. I don't know if they're supposed to be flowers or what they're supposed to be, but they're definitely old. Definitely really old things. I like them just because it's old and because it's different. It has those little shells dangling from it. You can't, I can't get away from my shell dangles or, or dangles rather you think it's um a butterfly it does kind of look like a butterfly okay one thing i don't like um this is just me my personal you know um likes dislikes whatever um i don't like these and i got one of those in a lot i i probably have five 10 of these things. I don't know why. I guess I thought they were cool at first, but then there's got to be too many of them. Um, so, I'm just not into those. <laughs> but anyway, I got that. And I got a kind of a cooler one. I mean, if you have to have an owl necklace. Um, yeah, they're not, they're not too good in shape. <laughs> Um, here's a, here's a little owl. He's pretty cute, actually. He's got, like, pinkish or blush-colored stones and aurora borealis eyes, and then he's got some movement to him, and it's like this on the back, and I don't think it comes apart. First, I thought maybe it was one of those things you put a scent in, but I don't think so. I know, that's another thing that they don't sell. Yeah, he's cute. They don't really sell, so. I mean, I think there's, they're too plentiful. I mean, there's just one of those in every lot you buy, it seems like, you know. These are cute. These are my kind of things to sell, too. I like the geometric a lot. And these are just some 80s, probably, black and silver with the or, um, triangles articulated. And they're not terribly old, but they're still cute. And I got one of these for my little Damascene and faux Damascene lot. I don't think I have an elephant. So now I have an elephant. And then I got some, a bunch of bug pins. This one's pretty nice. That one's pretty nice. I like that. Oh yeah, your your god baby loves owls. Oh, I bet your god baby's cute. I bet. Oh, now elephants are selling. Okay. Another little bug pin. You know, bug pins were selling a lot, too. Oh, and here's two more bug pins. That one and this one. This one's made really nice, um, but it unfortunately, it's missing an eye. So, I'll have to fix that. But that one's made nice. I like the, the looks of that one with the gold and silver on the wings. Here's something Sally will like. It's a lobster. And it's really cute too. It's a lobster. It's kind of like sugared. And it's 
orange and has green eyes and he moves he moves a little bit oh that's a crab <laughs> ah seafood it's it's something that it's an aquatic thing <laughs> oh that's right the lobster has his lobster claws <laughs> That's like birds. I always get the swans and the and other things mixed up in birds too. I don't know. I don't know. I'm lucky I remember my name most days actually. These are oops, they're upside down. Oh, and they're not actually upside down. They look upside down, but that's the way they go. They're they're coro. Look like upside down tulips. That's the way they're, they're pointing, so. Excuse me, they're a listener. Listener. These are Coro, and these are beautiful, I think. I love the finish on these. The finish on these reminds me of Monet. Um, just the, the color of the, the, newer, the newer type Monet, not the older, but they're cute. They're really nice. That there's texture on them too, but you can't see very well, but texture. And they're clip ones. And I got some Trafari, which have some wear on the edge, unfortunately. So I'll probably, I don't know what, I don't know what I'll do with those. Probably just put them in my Trafari box, but I wouldn't sell them because they're they're too worn. Unfortunately, because you wouldn't think that of Trafari, but I guess it depends on the piece. And I don't know if they had different manufacturers do them or not for the Trafari. Um, here's an old, old pin. And it looks old and it's not really what I'm into. My, I don't know if I'm coming or going. <laughs> Me neither. Join the club. <laughs> Here is a little alligator. Um, or crocodile. I don't know. One of those. <laughs> uh, a, a, a tie, a tie pin. Tie tack. Tie tack. So I got that. Okay, that's that for that. Now I'll show you the rest, some of the rest of the um, big box lot. I kept a little, <laughs> I kept some of the things that were in there. There's just a few things left, so hopefully I'll be done here in a few minutes. Maybe people will come and watch this later since there's hardly anyone in the chat, but Thank you for the people that are here for the nine thumbs up. I mean, for the ten thumbs up and the nine people here. Okay, these are these are really different. They're really old screw backs, and they have twisted seed beads that are kind of iridescent or just sparkly. One of the two, probably not iridescent, probably just sparkly. But they're pretty cool. I've never seen anything like these. They're very old and kind of cool. So I would say they're probably 40s. Possibly 1940s, maybe, I don't know, maybe even earlier, I don't know. Or 50s. So you know, <laughs> you know I'm just guessing when I say, oh, it could be 30s. I think it could be 40s. Hey, it could be 50s. <laughs> So in other words, I have no idea. <laughs> I messed that pin up too. <laughs> oh, there is a bear with a heart. Here are some cute, cute, cute earrings. Little hollies with little berries. Aren't they cute? Those are cute. Like those. They're pierced. Oh, thank you. Love you guys, too. I need to watch your last couple videos, I Spy. I haven't gotten to them yet. 
here is a tiny little enamel. This one's cute. This is just cute. Little enamel um, pin, little red rhinestone in the center. It's it's old. And it's just a cheapy one, not made nice or anything, but I just love the looks of it. Love the looks of it. They have found so many great things. They have. You're always my niche, Miss Angie. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I'm glad. And these are pretty cool. They are real thin. I mean, they're not, and I don't know. I have to get, that's not really verdigris. It's just dark stuff. So I have to get and see if I can get that off of there. But they're pretty cool. I'll, they'll go with my patriotic jewelry collection. Some nice. Just some nice plain domed earrings, pierced. Um, oh, these are nice. I like these. These will probably sell if I get them listed. Um, they are some hoops, kind of stylized hoops um, with some texture to them. And just the plain. I think people like the plain thin hoops these days. And so, I think I should list those. Clean them up a little bit and list them. A uh, little Cladol type pin. Uh, some pearls that are gathered like little hoops for earrings. Stick pin that's enameled. Looks like it's older. Pretty flowers on it. Got one of these and it reminded me of my mother's sewing box. And I always like to get a surprise memory of my mom. She's been gone since 2014. And, um, I miss her, but, you know, every once in a while I get a little thing, and I'm like, oh, I remember that. Mom had that. Mom had these. <laughs> In her sewing box, because she thread the needle with it. Use that to thread the needle. That little metal thing. Do you guys know what that is? Have you seen those? There's a trick to it. You just, I think you pinch, you put the thread in there. Oh, you do? Yeah, you put the thread in there, and then you then you pinch it, and then you pull. I forget something. It works though. If I ever sewed, I would know. I don't. I hate sewing. I made a a skirt in home ec once, and like it was my worst nightmare. I'll never. I said I'll never do that again ever. <laughs> and this says, I think I showed this before. 1948. I think I showed that in the last one. That's that's a cool pin. It's like a chain and a pin. Probably the high school K K high school HS and then the 1948. Cool, because it's old. Here's a real old blood pin. A blood donor pin. Handle with care. You know that's old. Look at one of those things on the back. I think that's about it. I really found this. I wish I'd have found the other one because those always sell. I think that might even be Swarovski. And, but I only have one of them, unfortunately. Some pearl dangles. Um, oh, these are cute. Show you these. I think there's a, do not, do I only have one of those two? Come on. Dang it. I thought I had both of those, but I only have one. Very cute. I could do something with this and use it for a neck mask charm, probably. It's so dainty and cute. 
like a little club on a triangle, like a little club sign or a little clover, and it just hangs like that on the little pierced post. So cute. I only have one. These are little tiny sterling clan, uh, shells. I don't know whatever kind of shells they are. And got some. Those. Oh, 14 people here. Thank you. Got I got a few more people, but I'm getting ready to go. <laughs> Getting ready to go. Little horseshoes. Little stones in them. Cute. I see a trend here going on. I see a theme. It's like lucky. A lucky theme. This little cat necklace. Part of the big box lot. I only have one of these. Dang it. I hate when I get like something I like that's cute and I only get one. But that's a little bell. And then I just got some random beads. Those kind of beads that go on uh, a chain, on a bracelet, or whatever. Pandora type beads, I guess. Hey, Gerald. How you doing, Gerald? I don't know why my voice went up when I said, how you doing, Gerald? It just did. <coughs> I think that's it. Well, they sent me a couple broken things. Well, one thing's broken. The other thing is actually, I guess that's a... What is that? Is that one of those... Pocket... Uh, purse hooks or is that a a um, bookmark is that a bookmark I'm not sure but they sent me that in the lot it's a bookmark okay thanks and this I was like oh this is nice I really like it like it you know I probably see a lot of those but it's broke it doesn't have the back so that'll go in the craft lot. I think that's it, everybody. That's it. That's enough, right? That's enough. That'll hold you for a couple months till I come on again. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Boo that it's broke. Silver plated. I gotta fix... I gotta... Uh, clean this up. Silver plated England says on there made in England that's cute I'm gonna polish that up might sell that all right I'm done stick a fork in me I'm done so thank you for coming and I will see you guys uh, on the next video it'll probably be a recorded one I'm thinking thank you thanks I spy go check out everybody's channel that's in the chat and I will see you guys, uh, if I don't see you before, have a very, very Merry Christmas, yes, and a very good New Year. Uh, many blessings to you, and bye for now. Be kind when you're picking. Bye. Bye, Cindy. I didn't get to say hi to you. Bye. Hi and bye. Okay, where's the end? Where's the end? The end. Merry Christmas.